some of the big things that we're dealing with when we're dealing with knowledge. One is the issue of cognitive load. How do I give people the right amount of, of knowledge or information and not overwhelm them? Because um, there's a lot of overwhelm in the world. I was looking at a I was looking at bad examples and I found this 90 slide slide deck about the regulations for asbestos handling for construction workers. And I will tell you that from a cognitive load point of view, it was a little bit of a problem. So cognitive load theory, if people are familiar with this, this is John Sweller and he talks about how there's intrinsic cognitive load. So the inherent difficulty of something like multiplication has an inherent kind of lower cognitive load than like calculus, for example. And then there's the germane cognitive load, which is kind of the, the learner interacting with it. And if you're a math professor, multiplication is going to have a pretty low cognitive load, germane cognitive load. But if you're a, you know, a fourth grader, it's going to be much higher germane cognitive load. And then there's extraneous, which is just the all the annoying stuff around it that's pulling your attention away and is unnecessary. The um, Anybody who had kids at home during during lockdown probably uh, dealt with things like online textbooks or getting kids logged into their classes or whatever and knows what I knows what I'm talking about when I say extraneous cognitive load stuff that did not help the learning at all that just took a lot of time and energy away from it and then so that's part of that's part of the the knowledge question is making sure that we're kind of operating within the limits of people's cognitive load 